Have a good one. Okay. Honestly, I could read all this Ishtar stuff. She has a bunch of abilities, so maybe she's a stand swapper too or something, but I can't be bothered. I'm not going to understand it anyway, so I don't care. I'll get to that some other point. When the god comes out or whatever, you know. Uh, I don't know, some event. I don't know what this stuff is. Celebration calendar event? Okay. Smite night stuff? Quality of life? Of avatars for each god's default art. So you're right here. These avatars by playing the god. Avatars? I don't know what this means. Bug fixes. Uh, maybe this is finally fixed. Last minute shows we're fighting unintended menu gene. Blowing unintended. Okay, okay, okay. Can you grab my Fenner's ultimate? Oh, I can't get grabbed by Fen ult. Okay. Dude, there's so many bugs, man. Oh, they finally fixed this Jing bug. That's good. Sometimes Rick Jungle Camps. That's nice. Two stacks of DR. To herself. Phantom nerf. Two stacks of DR to himself. Also Phantom nerf. Beast drop. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of cool stuff, I guess. Hmm. Echo fix. And turn a cooldown. Duel will now use Jade Corruption Map. Joss will continue to use Season 3 trying to do that. I don't know what the Jade Corruption Map is. All starter item upgrades will be banned. So there's no starters in Duel anymore. Wow. We use non-conquest balance adjustments. All starter items will be re-enabled on Joust and Ranked Joust. What the fuck? There's just no starters in Duel. Can we upgrade to level 15? Okay. Do they do anything? Uh, have the proper restrictions in place. Players will now need to be the lowest gold on their team in order to get the bonus gold. The low, lower upgrade level will give supports an extra edge in the game. This is interesting. I wonder if if they get this, will that mean that uh that they'll do, do supports ever out outpace people in gold? Like if they get at level fifteen, I wonder if their passive will run out once they catch up. You know. So like the bonus gold just won't won't happen right if they catch up. If they're like fed or something, it's kind of weird, right? If you're like a fed support, I, mean, I guess it's like a, an interesting balance way to balance it. Okay, so everything's back to level 15. That's cool. And now we're back to this. I don't read any of this stuff. I'm not going to lie. I just look at the changes. So Sphinx's Bobble, powers down by like 5 or 10. No longer has any damage output debuff. Still has decre healing decrease. Okay. I do not agree. Decreases your magical f and physical protections by 15%. All protection, including base. Interesting. Truly a pace. Yeah, they'd have to be pretty fed. In ranked, it probably happens a decent bit, though. So, Bobble, they're trying to make it more of a damage item, I guess. It seems like it's more of a mage item, right? <clears throat> You're kind of sundering yourself a little bit. Uh, power on it's like, okay, 70. And yeah, no damage decrease. Hi, cat. Hello. Yes, hi, buddy. Bobble new item for jungle? Yeah, maybe. I don't know what gods you'd want to overcap cooldown with. Like, 50% cooldown? What, what gods shouts that to you? I could look at them. Lance, Gilga, Thor. 
Maybe. You're also, like, sundering yourself. I don't know if I want to get it for just that reason, right? Like, you could spam... Like, it'd be nice for Hanbat's ult cooldown, I guess. 50% ult cooldown. But still, like... I don't know. This... Oh, it's 50% of prots. I don't know. This is pretty big deal, though. Even if you're full damage. Could be wrong. I, I think mages... It's mostly a mage item. Who Like a mage that you can... Yeah, like a Merlin item or like a... Tiamat type of thing, but... Even so, this might make it not good. Alright, Griffin Wing Earrings. Increase magical power to 70, and the item no longer has any damage output debuff. Interesting. I wonder if hunters will love this item. It makes your autos faster, right? Uh... Yeah, I bet we'll see this picked up by a lot of hunters. Increased health from 200 to 250, removed 12 HP 5 out of 25 magic prots. So it's like a magic prot item. This item, I think it got better. For sure, I mean, <laughs> obviously got better. The thing about these, all these, oh wait, this is the T2. Oh, I thought this was this. I was confused. 60 prots, oh my god. 350 health, HP 5 is gone, added CDR and 60 prots. Yo, this got mega buffed, right? The base stats on this item are crazy. Look, look, at, the, look at the stats on it. Uh, wait, 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 health, health, health. Where is it? Here, here, here. So it's 40 MP5. It's 2200 already, right? 350 health. And 60 magic prots and 10% cooldown. Let's compare it to like this. This is 2200, it's so the same price. It's 200 extra health, 10 more prots, has the cooldown, more 8 MP5, and the passive is just different. This just has to be like the best magic defense item, right? If not really close. I, I guess the passive you can't get value unless you're a healer. That's crazy. Con console ADC item? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if it'll impact her that much, but it's still probably easier to hit. 5 would be pretty good on hell into magical comps. Yeah. Yeah, as a solo item, that should be pretty sick. All right, let's look at this. Uh, move 30 HP 5, renew 20% CCR. Okay, added 40 of each prot. Increase the duration of the self buff from 5 to 15 seconds. 15 is pretty long. Um, increase the damage up from 3 to 8, or 3 to 4. Damage up from its owner to 6 to 8. Is this item busted? Let's, let's look at it now. So it's 350 health. And what is it? 350 health, 40 of each prot. 350 health, 40 of each prot. 2200 gold. That right there is pretty sick stats. Uh, what they take off? They took off. Did they take off HP5 and MP5? Just HP5. Okay, so it still is MP5. So basically, HP5 is from this whole tree is just gone. And no CCR. Those stats aren't too big of a deal. Um. And then the passive. Dude, this passive's kind of sick, maybe. I think this item will get picked up a lot. 8% on every time. Like, imagine you're like Circuit. I think this could be a good Circuit item for jungle. I don't know how much junglers will get this or not. But if you have two CCs. Wait, how does the proc work? When you hit an enemy god with a hard CC. So you can do it with roots also. They drop a spike. Is it cap at one spike per ability? I don't know how the drops count. Um, maybe because you need hard CC. Yeah, but roots count as hard CC, so it's actually pretty easy to get. get. You just have to be able to pick up the spike. 
No, so so you can get multiple spikes per per ability, or no? Yeah, you you have fifteen seconds to use it. So like if I say I like five man Erling taunted somebody, would I get five drops? Divine's really cheap, dude. This item's so cheap. Everything's down a hundred gold from all the flat pen items. Aw, oh, dude, stupid... Uh, man, dumb mages, of course they're complaining to get these buffs. Of course they are. Mages are so OP. 120 to 135. Okay, Rod did need a buff. Uh, Incarnal cooldown of this is down too. Can now affect ultimate abilities too, okay. Oh, poly 3 to 2. Buff mages. <clears throat> There's a lot of mage buffs here, by the way. Bombus hammer, this item is passive, can affect alts again. Maybe this will get it picked up. I think this is a good change, regardless. We'll see if this will have people get it or not. Oh, of course we're buffing Newtons, man. Five power Newtons. Five power on this, five power on Crusher. Okay, five power on Mystery. Oh, Titan's getting another buff? Oh my god, dude. Titan's is broken right now, I think. That's crazy. I'm so surprised by this. 100 gold off Titan's in the passive reduce. Titan's is so OP right now. Uh, with this buff, I mean, like, I think you'll get Titan's every single game. You'll just be trolling not to go Titan's. And Crusher buff feels really nice, too. I will be going Crusher Titan's every game, probably. <clears throat> These are really high power items, though. 55 power for beat 6, really sick, too. Well, not... S I mean, it's Brawlers, right? But, like, Titan's fourth item. You could probably go third a lot of games, and it'd be good. But 55 is a lot of power for Brawlers. Attack speed. Decrease healing debuff. Duration. This is a weird change to me. But it's whatever. I just don't get it. Um, Titan's cheaper. And healing duration's down also. I wonder what this healing duration thing is about. Buffing Tain, Tainted Steel across the board, basically, and upgrades. Rang does. Decreased physical power requirement from 325 to 275. Okay. Properly checks stacking items. Oh, okay. So it's actually fixed in this patch. It was before. The item no longer check god abilities for power gained. This item. Oh, okay. I, I read the... Interesting. I wonder if Rangnus is ever viable in jungle. It probably isn't, but... Better buff that I'm just... Isn't, isn't that good? Yeah, it's a weird chain buff or whatever. It's for ball interaction, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, six gold per five. Only if you're the lowest gold on the team. Okay. This didn't have that before. Decrease requirement... I think Lona's will get picked up, but Lona's was the only starter that was level 15, and uh, all the others were 17 and still wasn't getting picked up, right? Cat's got a thing on the side. Lona's kind of looking good with his two items for mana. Yeah, that's true. For that, it could be good. Okay, he did not like that. Stacking and item passes. Okay. Interesting. Now only applies. Okay, these are the changes for the level 15 starters. They're just showing them in the patch. It's like this. This feels. Yeah. You're not wrong. I agree. It does seem like that. They're just like making it correct, more or less. So now, gold per five on all of this is just if you're the lowest gold on the team. As it no longer stacks. Okay, this is this is the big change to add. So people can't just stack compassions. This should have been in anyway. <clears throat> but it's just oversight. But yeah, this is good. I th I don't think these will be abused at all. I was skeptical about it before, but I think there's just no way they can. Um, A little Nox buff, eh? Uh, the one damage on minions is getting buffed. I wonder if it's ever viable to start maxing Nox one. 
with changes like this. Would that ever be good? I think it might be decent. This ability slams. And you can just use two for area control. Um, but yeah, it could be okay to max maybe. Let's see, plus 10% longer non-ultimate cooldown, plus 10% longer ultimate cooldown. So Nox is nerfed out of, <laughs> that's so troll. Dude, I don't even think she does that well in in like non-conquest moods, but she's always complained about these non-conquest changes. Um, base protection for Yanis. Yanis needed a buff. This god sucks right now. 10 base damage on his 2. It'll probably be nice. I don't know how much it'll impact. Survivability is pretty decent. You know, and kill him. Rise and buff. 30 to 90, 35 to 95. Do you think we see Rise and go instantly to viable? <laughs> it should be like okay for him, but. Eh. It's like t for all four hits, it's like 20 damage. I don't know. I don't know. Is this a revert? Kills per stack. Oh, okay. His passive pen stacks faster. And they buffed his ult. Early game ult. I think that'd be nice for Thoth. I don't know if it'll change that much. Scotty buffs. 90 to 290, 90 to 310. So later on the one. Increase physical power scanning the tick. This is her ult, right? 40% to 60 risk. That's pretty nice. Her ult probably actually slams. Neath buff of her one. Cooldown is at 13 always to the mana. Nice Ryzen buff. Yeah, it's not bad. Satman Ryzen incoming, true. I think wait, you mean Paul Ryzen. Guan just got some cooldown changes. All sources. Oh. That's pretty good for his three. Increase god damage. Shackles revert. 20 to 100, 25 to 105. Yeah, Ares needed some damage. This is so true, it's five per tick. I wonder what that equals. How many ticks are there, five? This is actually a lot. Five is a lot on Ares. If you can get three chains on somebody, it probably ends up being close to like 100 damage, right? I'm just gonna look real quick. Ares jungle viable? How long does... Uh, what are the ticks? Four seconds. Per tick. I think it, it's ticks even sec every second, right? Dude, my neck has been killing me recently. Yeah, every second. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, what is that? Five? Uh... I'm just dumb, but it's it's like uh what sixty potentially. Okay, maybe that's not that much. I mean sixty damage buffs pretty big actually. Dan's in Aries jungle for you. Yeah, I'll probably try to rank on uh ranked a little. Cooldown buff. Uh they they nerfed him in non conquest. A Serb buff? Yeah, we haven't seen any Serb play. I think Mike played him, and that was literally the only time we've seen him played. They increase his anti-healing passive. Up his jump damage. And decrease ult cooldown. These look like uh, support changes a little bit, but... Buffed Kumba passive. Oh wow, 60 second buff on it. Thoughts? Aries ult should cripple? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, cooldown on his one. An epic uppercut damage buff. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of just trying to go through this now. There's not too much more. 
two seconds on Terra. Wait, Force of Nature. Is that just her two or one? Increased amount of hits it takes. Oh, three to five. Oh, this was an old revert. One? Yeah, yeah, okay. Dude, my fucking neck. Oh. I don't know why it's been so annoying recently. These might be big terror buffs. Five on this three will take. It's pretty annoying to break that. Root duration. Yeah, I think with the DR changes, Silv needed some buffs for support. DR changes kind of fucked him really hard. Mana cost on Bacchus flop. Belch. Now does more damage to lane. It seems kind of small, but maybe it's it's probably uh, added on. It's not bad. Sun duration up. Decrease mana. Do I figure? They're making all the debuffs. All the anti heal stuff is five seconds. On all these things. Okay. Pretty good patch. It comes out Tuesday, right? Yeah. It'll be interesting to see the the new tree. Well, old tree now, but the, all these changes should be very interesting. That impact stuff. Same thing. All right, but yeah, I guess that's about it.